Hey everyone, welcome to Wicode. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a live stream with Nginx and FFmpeg using HLS, RTMP, and Docker Compose. So here's an example of what we're going to be building. So if we look in the bottom right here, we can see our logs from our FFmpeg container. And essentially what it's doing right here is it's streaming a video file to our Nginx RTMP server. And then we have an index.html file served up from Nginx that is feeding off of the stream and showing a live stream. So we're gonna learn how all this stuff works. But this is a live stream, so whoever joins this video will be watching it at the same time. They'll be watching it together. So we're gonna learn how all this works and stuff like that in this video. So before we start this video, let's talk about RTMP and HLS. So RTMP, or the Real-Time Messaging Protocol, is a protocol for streaming data over the internet. It's typically used to stream video and audio. For example, we can stream a large video file with RTMP by breaking it up into smaller packets and sending them to the client. The client then reassembles these packets into video. HLS, or HTTP live streaming, is an HTTP-based version of streaming data. For example, we can use it to stream live video over HTTP. The browser then reconstructs the video with an HTML video element. Also, HLS was created by Apple and works natively on the HTML5 video element on iOS and Android. However, currently, we need an external library to get it to run on desktop. So for example, in Chrome, Firefox, browsers like that. But now we've got the background out of the way, let's create our environment variables. So I'm gonna create a file called .env, and I'm just gonna paste in some values. And so these include the location of our Nginx container and our FFmpeg container in the Docker network, and then the HTTP port and the RTMP port. So by default, RTMP works on port 1935, but we're just gonna include that anyway. And also note that we have a separate container for FFmpeg and Nginx. And this is because it is best practice to separate any process into its own Docker container or one service per container, which is why we have FFmpeg in its own container and Nginx in its own. All right, so now let's start configuring Nginx and specifically we're gonna configure, configure the Nginx RTMP server. So I'm gonna create a directory called Nginx and a file in it called rtmp.conf. And I'm just gonna paste in this configuration and go over what it's doing. So first we specify what well, we have an RTMP context and then specify a server inside for an RTMP server. We listen on the provided port, which will be the environment variable RTMP port. We set the chunk size and this is the chunk size for the stream. The default is actually 4096 and the bigger the value, the lower the CPU overhead. Next we have allow publish all and this allows publishing from the specified addresses. Specifying all means anyone can publish to the server and we're just doing that for development of course, in production, it used to be more restrictive. So for example, just our FFmpeg container. Next, we create an application called HLS. So this creates an RTMP application with the specified name. And we're calling it HLS. You can call it whatever you want, but we're specifying live to be on, which activates live broadcasting. We set record to off, which is because streams can be recorded in an FLV file. And here we're saying don't record anything. Next, we turn on HLS, and then we specify the HLS path as dash temp dash HLS and the TMP directory in Linux stands for temporary and is used to store data that is needed for a short period of time. Next we have HLS fragment which is the HLS fragment length in time and for us this is five seconds and now that we've got our, our TMP server let's set up our HTTP server. So of course we need an HTTP server to work with the browser and we're calling this HTTP.conf and specifically what this will do is it'll serve up our HLS fragments. So the fragments of the video, this will serve those up to the user. So specifically, we create an HTTP server listening on the provided host and port. Then we serve up an index.html file, and this will be the HTML file that will have an HTML video element to view the video. And then we have a dash HLS location, which will serve up the HLS chunks from our temp directory. We also specify this types directive right here which maps file name extensions to MIME types of responses. So video-mp2t is an MPEG transport stream, while m3u8 are playlist files used by video players to store the location of media and files. So essentially our HLS chunks or fragments. And now let's create the main nginx configuration file, and I'm gonna call this nginx.conf. And essentially what this will just do is import our configurations. So First, we load our RTMP module at the top because by default, the RTMP module is not, does not come with Nginx, so we have to install it. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. 
Then we include our RTMP configuration and our HTTP configuration. And now let's create the HTML video element that will that the Nginx HTTP server will serve up to consume the RTMP stream. And so I'm just going to call this index.html. And once again, I'm just going to paste in this code. And so specifically, the important part is this video element right here. And also the fact that we are using a CDN, which is called video.js. And we're using video.js to display the HLS content because in most browsers, the HTML video element cannot display RTMP streams. And video.js is just a web player that supports modern streaming formats. So we include the CDN right here. We play it right here by providing the ID. These are some classes to style the video that comes from this CDN for some CSS styles. And then we specify the controls, set autoplay to true, but for it to autoplay, we also have to have it um, muted. But so that's all it takes to get this part set up. Now what we're gonna do is build our FFmpeg Docker image. So I'm gonna create a directory called FFmpeg. And in here, we're gonna create a Docker file. And for the FFmpeg image, we're gonna be using Ubuntu version 24.04 as the base image. And next, all we need to do is install FFmpeg, which we can do by just installing it like this. And we provide a dash Y for non-interactive mode because we can't say yes or no inside the container. And now we just need to copy over a media file or the video file that we want to stream. And specifically, first I'm gonna set the work directory to dash media, and then we're gonna copy over a video file. And let me get a video file of mine real quick. And I'm just gonna paste it in the same directory right here. And it's just a YouTube video on I made on reloading Nginx inside a Docker container. And so then we just need to provide the name right here. So we set the working directory to the media and then copy over this MP4 file. And now finally, we just need to run FMPEG, FFmpeg when the container starts up. And we can do that. We're gonna do that with the entry point command. And then once again, place your video file. So I'm gonna place it right here. And specifically with this command, so dash RE right here tells FFmpeg to read the same number of frames per second as the frame rate of the input video. So in other words, read the input at its native frame rate. Then we have dash I, which is the input media element, which of course is our MP4 file. Then we specify the video codec right here, and we specify it as H.264, which is the recommended encoder for RTMP. Then we specify the audio codec, which is AAC, and that stands for Advanced Audio Coding, and it's the successor to the MP3 format and is also recommended for RTMP streaming. Then we specify dash F right here, which stands for format, and it forces the input output file format. And here we're sending it to FLV or flash video, which is a widely recognized format for RTMP. And then we send the output to the RTMP server on Nginx. So this is Nginx C is our Nginx container in the Docker network and then dash HLS. And then whatever you wanna place right here is gonna be my video. We just need to make sure that this matches up with our source in here, how we have my video m 3 u 8 So make sure this matches what you have right here and that'll allow us to get those chunks. But so now that we've done that, let's build the Nginx Docker image. And so, as I mentioned a bit earlier, to use RTMP with Nginx, we need to install the RTMP module. And the developers of the official Nginx image made it very easy to install third-party modules for Nginx. Specifically, we can install these modules through PKG OSS, which is a tool that allows us to ins create, install, and upgrade third-party modules for Nginx. And this is all han handled for us by a Docker file, and I'll place this, paste this URL in the description, but it's all handed for us, handled for us at a Docker file right here. So this is the link and this is the Docker file code. And so what, and it's for the official Docker Nginx image, but what we wanna do is essentially copy this into a file, and then we can provide to it the modules that we want to enable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to our Nginx directory like this, and I'm gonna run curl dash O and then specify Docker file and then paste in the URL to get to download this Docker file. So if I run this and now we look inside our Nginx directory, we can see our Docker file that we've downloaded. And an important part is right here. We can see arg for enabled modules. Essentially we passed we pass a build argument called enabled modules for the modules that we want to enable and then it'll install it for us. Let me also remove this from our FMPEG Docker file. 
And then just real quick, this dash O option right here for curl tells curl to write to a file instead of standard out, instead of the standard output, which is why we got this Docker file right here. But cool, so now that we've got all this, we need to start working with Docker Compose. So I'm gonna create a docker compose.yaml file. And the first thing we're gonna do is build the Nginx service. And this is gonna be pretty straightforward. We just are gonna have quite a few volumes. So I'm gonna paste this in like this. And so first we create the Nginx service. We name the image Nginxi and the container after our Nginx host environment variable. Then we build this image from our Nginx Docker file and we specify a build argument right here as enabled modules and we set it to RPMP or RTMP. And this tells, this will make it so our Docker file that we downloaded will install the RTMP module. Then we provide our ENV or environment variables. We specify, we map our HTTP port and our TMP ports on our host machine to the ones in the container. Then we copy over all our configuration and we copy these into templates, the rtmp.conf and http.conf. We copy them into these templates because we are using environment variables and the nginx docker image, so these are the environment variables, the nginx docker image will replace the environment variables if we place them inside this templates directory. So that's some magic it does under the hood. But now let's create the ffmpeg service. So we're gonna create that right below and it's just gonna be called ffmpeg. And so we create the ffmpeg service we name the image ffmpeg i, name the container after our environment variable, and then we build the image from our ffmpeg docker file, provide the environment variables, and then we set depends on to nginx because we want our nginx rtmp server to be up and running before we start streaming the video to it with ffmpeg. But that's all it takes to get all this running. So all we need to do now is just run the program, which we can do, uh, we need to go to the top level. Let's go to the top level right here, and then we run docker compose env file, we provide our environment variable file, and we run up. And we can see that we're streaming right here from ffmpeg. Um, see if we had any errors. So no, we have no errors. So now let's go and see if this video is working. So localhost 5555 is where we have it running. And here we are. So we can see we're live streaming. Uh, we can see live being paste, played right here. If we turn on the volume, looks like it's working. Um, if we refresh, of course this is live. So and whenever anyone joins this broadcast, they'll be seeing this at the same time. But yeah, this is all it took to build this. It's not too bad. We can see all our, once again, what's being streamed from FFmpeg to our RTMP server, and then from our RTMP, or from Nginx, to our browser. But so this is all it takes to create a live stream of Nginx and FFmpeg using HLS RTMP. If you have any questions, leave them for me in the comments, and I'll try and get back to you. But besides that, thank you for liking and subscribing. If you enjoyed this video, please consider downloading my Chrome extension called Witscepter. Link in the description. But besides that, have a good one.